Hello and welcome to this session of Berlinale Meets. My name is Christina Nord. I'm the head of the Berlinale Forum, an independent section of the festival run by the Arsenal Institute for Film and Video Art. It is my great pleasure to welcome Raul Dominguez, the filmmaker of Terra que Marca, a very beautiful documentary from Portugal. Maybe documentary is not the accurate description, but we'll, um, we'll go into that, we'll look into that. Before Thank we you. start, yeah. Before we start, I'd like to show um, an, a first excerpt from the film. In the excerpt we just saw, we can already see that uh, your film explores quite a unique perspective. And um, I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts about um, this very specific perspective when it comes to camera positions, angles, the objects you film. Um, yeah, to hear your thoughts about uh, this particular perspective okay so uh, when I when I when I film this uh, this this kind of image I was I'm always uh, behind uh, the scene so people don't uh, uh, really know when I'm filming or not and uh, but what me what in interests me in this uh, kind of image is the movement of the the tools and the the way they they can um, work with the whole it's it's so uh, in a gent gentle way you know it's uh, it's very beautiful to watch so uh, i put i try to put in in the position of uh, someone who is uh, uh, with the whole you know and um, in that in in this perspective uh, for or, or someone who is who is doing the work uh, that's uh, it's the way I, I i i try to to film the that kind of work yeah mm -hmm. i think i don't know perfectly clear i think um what I find very interesting is the way um, human beings are on screen, but at the same time, they are not on screen in the way we normally see them. And uh, maybe you could uh, elaborate on that. Uh, I understand what he, you're saying, but uh, is this, it's more in the editing. When I was editing, I tried to to put uh, humans at the same level of uh, of other forms of life, and because I I truly believe that our lives uh, it should be equal, and we should uh, have the respect for all of kind of life, and putting the humans like. Uh, uh, in the same position of uh, of plants, uh, I feel it, it was uh, a right uh, it was a, a right uh, a way to be in the world uh, mm -hmm. and try to put it in that in the film. Yeah, yeah. I think the question of respect and equality is something we are going to get back to. Um, before that, I'd like to show the second clip. Um, which is also an exploration of uh, or an attempt of filming human beings um, on the same level as other beings.
again, um, we can see just parts of the body, um, especially the hand, the sawing hand. Um, and um, I'd like to get back to that question of with respect and equality, when, which are sort of like um, more abstract concepts. And if you, if you break down the abstract concepts or if you um, intertwine these abstract concepts with the images we just saw, um, what would you say? How would this um, equality and respect materialize in the images we just saw? Uh, I think the, the sequence uh, goes on and after that uh, end sowing, we have a hole that is uh, bury the, the seeds. And um, uh, I don't know, um, this was not a, a question uh, what, at the time where I filmed, you know, it's just uh, because I was helping my grandmother and uh, I just film when I had the chance to, and when when I uh, came to the the editing, um, is there where I, I make all the choices? So uh, um, in the field when I'm recording, I, I always uh, I don't think about uh, where I am or what I'm doing. I just try to to capture the, the movement or the gestures that I, I feel it's important to me and that very appealing uh, image. And, and I just capture the way I stand if I'm a bit uh, taller than my grandmother. So I am a bit uh, counterpointed. I don't know if it's... Um, so this is, is very natural to me. It's not uh, something that I think about it. Uh, just after when I come to the editing at, and I see the image and uh, uh, I try to uh, go around with the process of, of what she's doing. Uh, so we started with, uh, she's fertilizing the field and then she's put, putting the, the seeds then she she's buried the seeds with a hole, and that was my way of thought mm -hmm. in that particular scene. Mm -hmm. So my position is always the same. I don't I don't think uh, much about it. I just uh, be there. Yeah, yeah. I see. I don't so know if I if I uh, res respond to your hand. Uh, totally. Other, uh, yeah. Totally, thank you. Um, and f what I take from it that uh, while filming for you, it's more like a physical process and something like dancing and intuition yeah. comes into play and um, about sort of like uh, being in tune with uh, or finding a way how to be in tune with the environment. Yeah, it's, uh, it, yeah you are yeah. right. Yeah. It's yeah. a very in in intuitive state when I'm f filming, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, glancing at the film in a very superficial way, one could say, um, and it's not what I'm saying, um, it's just when you're yeah. sort of like having a very superficial perspective on the film, you could say that it's some kind of idealization of the countryside and life in the countryside. For me, it didn't feel like that. Um, what would be your take on, on that? Uh... Sometimes is a, a, a personal idealization of what uh, of what country can be, uh, but it's my perspective, uh, and uh, I know that when people see it, will see it different things, and I hope that people see it diff in different ways, even if it's uh, a more superficial or a, a profound way, and I think cinema is. Uh, what I like about cinema is, is that uh, um, way of uh, everyone can watch one, uh, the same thing, but have different feelings about it. And uh, it's very grateful to, to see that my film can have these uh, different views on it. So, and, um, but uh, 
sometimes with a film and uh, different sequence, I try to to explore what uh, what we, we are doing uh, as a society uh, to the to the uh, to the land or to the, the dirt. And there are sometimes that we see some kind of future, and there are sometimes we see some kind of past of what what was be what uh, uh, what happened before. And uh, I try to to create um, uh, some time of uh, a feeling of that that we are live in one time and. All the past and all the future are here right now, and we can see it. Um, uh, we can see it this in the in the film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. I'd like to proceed with uh, the next excerpt. <laughs> This is not the only moment in the film in which uh, a machine and a ve vehicle come into play. And um, thinking about the question about idealization, for me, for instance, it was very clear that uh, showing the machines, showing the vehicles, um, um, having the noise is something which contradicts any type of idealization um, in a very strong way. How do you see the interaction between the soil and the plants and the machines and the human beings? Um, the machines, for me, it's uh, it's um, the noise and the, the, all the the, the the distraction they they bring. It's it's something that we are kind of it's. Uh, a process that is is kind of um, distract uh, it's, it's distraction something you know uh, that sleeps you when you see the the the, the machine going along the the soil um, is is it, she is destroying uh, some forms of life and um, it's not a dial it, 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 it's not ideal, you know, but it has to be done because of the, the process of the of the the, the how to um, because the process of the agriculture uh, way of doing things, um, but at the same time, it's for the life that it's uh, leaving there the plants or the, the inks that uh, they, they see the, their, world, their world destroyed and they disappear, but they always find a way to, to reborn. And mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a, I don't know if you chose um, and, and Another ex, uh, excerpt, another piece of the film uh, that is show, shows that uh, that things go go always um, reborn in some way. They always find a way to to restore their their life. Yeah, the one with the plants and the flowers. 
Yeah. Yeah, when you can see the elderly lady with uh, a lot of plants and flowers on her back, and afterwards yeah, yeah. you can see sort of like. Um, you um, see the another uh, what, again the 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 weeds are are growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I have a question to the camera work, which you did yourself, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And you chose to use mini DV, and maybe you would want to say something about uh, this particular choice. Yeah, uh, it was a camera that I, I used in school, so I am very fond of it, and it's very easy to operate. It's it's small, and it's very quick to if I see something. It's very quick to to capture. Uh, uh, what I need to see, but um, for, uh, I started the film in 2015. So at the, at the time, I, I didn't have any any means before uh, any more means. So I started with mini DV because it was a um, a, a medium that was available to me, and I think it. Uh, it still has its uh, its grace. Uh, it's not uh, something that we can't uh, uh, throw throw back or throw in the garbage because uh, new technology uh, has arrived. But uh, still, um, there is many uh, uh, capabilities uh, for this medium, and it's uh, it's unique. And um, another way, another reason that uh, it was good for me is because one tape can last an hour and uh, uh, of recording. And um, uh, I was shooting, and uh, sometimes many of the cuts uh, were were resulting in the the camera because of this uh, one hour of of image. Mm -hmm. Uh, so many cuts are from the camera because uh, I, when I was shooting, I feel it, so I, I cut it, and uh, I most m many of the the great cuts I have in the film it was uh, uh, in the moment of film, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. And another um, thing I like uh, it's. Uh, after recording one hour, I put the tape away and I forget about it. Or uh, and then I, when I transcri transcribe to the, the to the computer, I forget about the so uh, what I filmed. So it gives me distance to to see the image in another way, uh, in a different way. Uh, and I like it. It's not a, a instant uh, process. Because mm -hmm. we have to transcribe the the film to the the, com the computer. Mm -hmm. It's more or less like film, but film goes go to laboratory and comes back. So, but it's more cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, I think what impressed me mostly was um, the specific texture um, and the fact that it's not crystal clear and not totally crisp, but a little bit blurry. I think yeah. that is something. Which in which today is not so often to find, and then the very moment you have it, it really stands out. Um, so that was something which definitely impressed me. Um, I would have. Do you want to comment on the blurriness or the slide? I mean, it's not like totally totally blurred, of course not. But the slide blurriness. Yeah, I feel that digital nowadays is very sharp. And uh, sometimes it, um, it uh, it's very real, and uh, sometimes it doesn't, cinema doesn't doesn't feel like real reality. Or and I like this uh, kind of uh, texture and color because of that. It's uh, it's a different uh, thing from reality. Yeah, and it kind of remind me also of film texture or some kind that resemble, uh, resembles that. Uh, so it's, it's also great for that. It's, mm -hmm. it's cheaper than film. 
Yeah, 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 totally. I have one last question, which is um, sort of a broader question. Um, from my, my from my point of view, there have been in recent years a couple of films um, trying to leave behind um, the uh, typical cinema perspective, which is very much human centered. Um, I'm thinking of a film like Andrea Arnold's Cow, um, which tries to mimic the perspective of a cow. I'm also thinking about a film like uh, Le Quattro Volte by Michelangelo Framatino. Um, would, you, would you see yourself in that tradition? Would you see yourself working in a similar vein? Yeah, uh, I've always felt that way, but I couldn't express it. Uh, and the film uh, tries to to see from the perspective of plants, I think. And because I've put myself in that position, I, I try to to be uh, no one, to be invisible. And I think many of plants are uh, this way. So when I film it, I try. To uh, uh, to be this kind of uh, position or to be to just be there and I think it, it uh, transpasses to the film I never thought about it uh, before the film because when I started I didn't have many ideas what the film would be you just uh, start shooting and in the editing I will figure it out um, but this is kind of my position in the world that uh, many of uh, many of the the people here in my village uh, uh, doesn't um, doesn't uh, recognize me as a um, as a filmmaker or just some guy filming there with no so I put. I put myself in that position that uh, um, that I'm no one, and and, and um, I think it's uh, transpires to the film that uh, I don't know if I uh, if I were clear. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um... it's. It's uh, difficult to me uh, to uh, express uh, what uh, what I was thinking and what I am feeling because I made the film for that reason to show people what I try to to be and um, uh, it's very difficult to me to express that. Uh, yeah, I so think the film expressed that. Yeah. I think you gave us uh, quite a lot of clues talking about respect and equality um, and uh, about being in the moment when you film and not having any type of concept in your head and developing yeah. concepts later. So um, thank you very much for your insights and for your input and for your ideas. Um, I'm very much looking forward to welcoming you in Berlin. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to be there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, all my best wishes. Stay safe and see you soon. Hmm? Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye.